another read aloud with Miss Amanda. I counted up your votes for last week and you're never gonna believe it, but everyone voted for the same book. So today we're going to read The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors. Let's get started. This is a really, really great book. I would encourage anybody to purchase this book because it's such a fun one and it never stops being a good read. Long ago in the ancient and distant realm called the Kingdom of Backyard, there lived a warrior named Rock. Rock was the strongest in all the land, but he was sad because no one could give him a worthy challenge. Rock traveled to the mysterious forest over by the tire swing, where he met a warrior who hung on a rope holding a giant's underwear. Drop that underwear and battle me, you ridiculous wooden clip man. I will pinch you and make you cry, walk warrior. Rock versus clothespin? Rock is victorious. Even though he had won, Rock was still unsatisfied. So he journeyed on to the mystical tower of Grandma's favorite apricot tree, where he was met by an odd and delicious fruit. You, sir, look like a fuzzy little butt. What? I challenge you to a duel. Then let us begin. We always laugh at that page at ABS. Rock versus apricot! I will beat you, Rock, with my tart and tangy sweetness! Rock is victorious. Arg, I'm smooshed! And yet smooshing you has brought me no joy. Are you not entertained? But they were entertained. But the battle had just been too easy, so Rock left the kingdom of backyard, still in search of a worthy foe. Meanwhile, in the empire of Mom's home office, on a lonely and windswept desk mountain, a second great warrior sought the glory of battle, and his name was Paper. Even though he was the smartest warrior in all the land, he was also sad because no one could outwit him. He set out across desk mountain to find his match. There, he met a large and square-shaped monster. I'll gobble up the likes of you every day and spit them out, little paper. Oh, then taste my fury, giant box monster. Paper versus computer printer? No, a paper jam. Paper is victorious. Having beaten the fiercest fighter on Death Mountain, Paper climbed down to the pit of office trash bin, where he battled the most terrifying horde of creatures in the land, the half-eaten bag of trail mix. Paper versus half-eaten bag of trail mix. Ah, foul wizard, he blotted out the sun. Run for your lives, ladies. Paper wins again. Can no one beat me? And so with a heavy heart, Paper departed the empire of Mom's home office. At the same time, in the kitchen realm, in the tiny village of Junk Drawer, there lived a third grade warrior. They called her Scissors. She was the fastest blade in all the land. She too was unchallenged. On this day, her first opponent was a strange and sticky circle man. I will battle you and I will leave you beaten and confused with my adhesive and tangling powers. Let us do battle, you tacky and vaguely round monster. Scissors versus roll of tape. Scissors is victorious. 
Scissors forge on through the kitchen realm to the frigid wastes of refrigerator freezer. There, she met the most fearsome adversaries yet. Dinosaurs made of frozen bread and chicken! I've come from far reaches of kitchen to battle you, old bizarre and yummy breaded dinosaurs! Bow before our child pleasing shapes and flavors, sword master! No one can resist our crunchy awesomeness! Scissors versus dinosaur chicken nuggets? <gasps> Dinosaur chicken nuggets win? Let's see. Oh, wait. No, they didn't. Scissors is victorious again. Am I so good that not even dinosaur ch chicken nuggets can beat me? And so Scissors, like rock and paper before her, traveled beyond her own kingdom, seeking out a challenger who was equal. Then one day, in the great cavern of Two Car Garage, Rock and Scissors came face to face. I hope you're wearing your battle pants, Rock Warrior. If you mean my battle pants, you mean no pants, but I'm willing to fight you. And yes, yes, I'm wearing my battle pants, weird scissorly one. Rock versus scissors! An epic and legendary battle ensued, but ultimately, Rock is victorious. You made me so happy by beating me. I wish I felt your joy, scissors, for I have yet to meet a warrior that can beat me. Those are fighting words. Wait, what? Rock versus paper? <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Thank you for winning, oh great knight of paper. Well, that's fine for you, but it looks as though I'll have no one to ever be me. Not so fast, Paper. Wait, what? Scissors versus Paper? <gasps> you beat me! And the three gray warriors hugged each other and danced for joy as they became fast friends. Finally, they had met each other's matches, and they were so happy, in fact, that they began to do battle again. Round and round they went in the most massive and epic three-way battle of all time. And it's said that this joyous struggle still rages on this very day. This is why children around the world, in backyards, on playgrounds, and yes, even in classrooms, still honor the three great warriors by playing. Rock, paper, scissors. Well, that was a very fun book to read, friends. I'm so, so glad that you voted on that one. For next week, I have two more books for you. So make sure you tell your parents to send in votes to me for which book you'd like me to read. Our first choice for next week is the story of Ferdinand. A lot of you have heard of this story before. A movie came out about it. He's a bull, and he's a little bit different. And our second choice is Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs. This one is a fun one because if you can remember, it's usually Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So this book has a fun twist. All right, send me your votes and I'll see you next week. Bye.